Abby, before you tell the kids where we're going this week, we have um, a family commitment. We will not be there Saturday to perform. I'll still be in rehearsals. Okay, so we are going to center stage. This week we have a guest choreographer, and he's worked closely with Michael Jackson for over 20 years. All right, attention! Hi! Mr. Travis Payne! Travis is used to setting choreography on professionals, and his work is brilliant. But what if this award-winning choreographer does a routine, sets it on my girls, and they don't win? Just give you a little background about the number we'll be doing. It's called Beautiful Bazaar. And so there were dances that were very famous, like voguing and whacking. And J-setting is newer uh, these days. And so we're going to just sort of mix all those styles up together and create something for you guys, OK? One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight. They're all, like, hanging on his every word. word. One, two, da, 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 do. Do, do, splat, da, 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 ooh, okay, da, da, hi-ya, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Right? Okay. Oh, work. Oh, look, they're having fun. So unusual. <laughs> we got to remember, Kendall, you won't be here. So what that means is... I personally like to choreograph an odd number better. Yeah? We just got to figure out a B version with McKenzie in the center, as opposed to having the two there. Imagine you know, somebody that can remember what they're doing. Okay. 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 All right. All right. We'll work on that. Okay. Thank you. Miss Abby, not gonna intervene and let the choreographer do his job. Right away, realized Maddie wasn't front and center, and she had to make some changes. Why don't you let someone else be front and center? Like McKenzie's a good little dancer. Abby has two dancers in the room yeah. who have not learned a step. And then she's focused on Apparently, JoJo Maddie. must have learned a step because she's doing yeah, it. She's doing the group dance over there. JoJo, face the other way so you're not in her mirror. Let me ask you a question, JoJo. What do you think constitutes being a master teacher? Master I, teacher? Yeah, I see that you're having master classes. JoJo simply posted, come to my master class. Why does Abby care? I have no idea why Abby is bringing this up now. God forbid JoJo should interrupt precious little Maddie's solo time while she is just over in the corner practicing the only dance she has learned. I mean, come on. What? do you know about being a master instructor? I really think you have to be careful with that word because a master teacher is somebody that has earned that title. No one cares. It's a time-wasting, unprofessional move. So, because some kid wants to make a quick buck on the weekend because daddy doesn't earn enough money, that's not really a master instructor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you need to end this. Nip it in the bud because it's not professional. Enough is enough already. First of all, JoJo's not teaching the class. She's in the class. It doesn't say that in your ad. It says master class with you. So don't go out there and say you're that without having what it takes to back it up. No, it's no different than your master classes where the girls attend the class with the guests that are well, going. Teach. You teach. I have a teacher that is teaching with JoJo. You don't include us in yours. <laughs> are she crying? Well, Abby started that. And, and Jess going in there didn't help, though, because now JoJo's crying. It just sucks that it gets on me. <laughs> Abby pisses me off. Her whole goal was to put JoJo down and make her cry. Like, I don't know if that makes Abby feel better about herself, but it pisses me off. Just play yourself together and go back in. Okay. That's it. Okay. 
you're kidding, right? She just always has to yell at me. Hey, does she always have to pick up me? Well, first of all, you're an awesome little girl. You're an awesome little talent. You're one of my favorites. I think you're good. You know, you just have your own sort of style. Yeah. And it's kind of all over the place. And then she has to yell at me. So what? She yells at everybody. Yeah, not like she yells at me, though. Maybe you're getting pushed because you are special. Focus on JoJo. And then no one can say anything. Right? Right. Promise? Promise. All right. <laughs> Get a bigger flow, honey. Right? <laughs> this is a really hard week for JoJo. And I know Abby is not going to give her any extra attention. Thank God Travis is here, and he is giving JoJo some comfort and attention. Since we're in LA, we have to try new styles. We're doing completely different style than we always do, so I literally am so nervous. I am a little bit concerned about the girls grasping the choreography and doing it perfectly. It's important that my girls listen to Travis and impress him. He is very well connected. He could end up hiring one of them for a job. And one, two, and three, four, five. I don't know how this one's gonna do at a competition yeah, you because your West Coast this dancer. is not a competition piece. Uh -huh. I want the girls to win so Abby doesn't say later. See, that's what we have to do in ALDC dance. You want our girls known as that they can only do Abby Lee Miller's choreography? No. You want them to be winners so that they could do everybody's choreography. Uh -huh. I love this number, but at the same time, it is so important that the girls pull out a win this week because jazz funk, this is a style that they're not used to. And in order for them to make a name here in LA, they have to be versatile and they have to be able to prove that. Beautiful bizarre. Okay, let's go. Next is act number 67. Please welcome to the stage, Beautiful Bazaar. This is fabulous that our girls get a chance to work a Travis Payne this week. I want this to work out so well. Now in our class division overall small group, our second place winner, number 67, Beautiful Bazaar. We have immensely enjoyed our time here with you girls. I think you're all so special. 
You know, you don't always have to win first. Yeah. No, you don't. But I mean, they were great. It's nice. Second place lets us get to realize how much we enjoy first place. It right. lets us know yes. how much harder we need to work each week. Yes. That's fine. It's good. You placed. Travis is not a competition choreographer. He is a performance choreographer. But the type of routine shouldn't make a difference because nowadays, competitions are the training ground for these kids to be professional dancers.